Hi, I'm Bruce Goldfarb, author of 18 Tiny Deaths. 18 Tiny Deaths is about the life and work of Frances Glessner Lee, the woman who revolutionized forensic science in America. Lee is mostly known as the creator of the Nutshell Studies, this collection of exquisitely detailed dioramas depicting sudden and unexpected deaths. Each one of these miniatures cost about as much to make as a real house. The Nutshell Studies are so celebrated they had their first and only public exhibition at the Smithsonian's Renwick Gallery in Washington, D.C. As remarkable as these dioramas are, the nutshell studies are only a small part of what Francis Glessner Lee achieved. Born into a wealthy Chicago family, Lee was homeschooled and enjoyed a life of affluence and privilege. By the age of 52, Lee was divorced, unfulfilled, and beset with medical problems. This is when the middle-aged grandmother found her life mission to lift death investigation out of incompetence and corruption. In 1929, Lee spent time with George Burgess McGrath, a longtime family friend. McGrath was medical examiner in Boston, Massachusetts. He was the first pathologist to serve as medical examiner, America's first forensic pathologist. Trained at the centers of forensic medicine in Europe, McGrath introduced the scientific principles he learned into his work as medical examiner and lectures he gave at Harvard Medical School. Inspired by McGrath, Lee spent millions to establish forensic medicine in the United States. She funded the first department of what was then called legal medicine at Harvard Medical School, creating a new field of practice from the ground up. Frances Glessner Lee was a pivotal figure in forensic science. She was an activist, reformer, and educator. Lee established a week-long seminar for police officers to learn about scientific death investigation. The Nutshell Studies are teaching tools for the seminar and still used today. For her work training police, in 1943 Lee was commissioned as a captain in the New Hampshire State Police, the first woman in America to hold that rank. She was 66 years old, carried a gold shield in her purse, and was known as Captain Lee for the rest of her life. 18 Tiny Deaths tells about Lee's friendship with Earl Stanley Gardner, best-selling author of Perry Mason novels. My book also details Lee's involvement in the 1950 film Mystery Street, the first procedural forensic science drama. Lee truly is the mother of forensic science. Kirkus Reviews said 18 Tiny Deaths is genuinely compelling. Bookist said 18 Tiny Deaths is a captivating portrait of a feminist hero and forensic pioneer. Publishers Weekly said devotees of TV CSI will have their minds blown. If you're a fan of true crime, if you're a fan of forensic science, if you enjoy original stories about extraordinary, inspiring people, you will enjoy 18 Tiny Deaths.